Welcome, folks, to tonight's game. This one promises to be a good one between the Fairleigh Dickinson Knights and the Illinois Fighting Illini. Dick, you look at this one, and it doesn't look like it's going to be a great game, but sometimes we get surprised. I tell you what, it looks like a David versus Goliath, baby, but you never know. Could be upset city if they protect the basketball. You know what? I think it's essential to control the tempo of the game. The Fighting Illini should be able to put this team away early, Dick. What's the key to them doing that tonight? Hey, Brad, for them tonight, the keys are as follows. Number one, reward your big men for running the court. Get them some easy buckets in transition. Second, make good passes and force the other team to play honest defense. Thirdly, don't let your man beat you to the rebound. Well, Dick, let's get this one started and see what happens. On the dribble, gives it up. Inside, he gets the rejection. Both teams are looking to get something going here. They work it around the perimeter. He takes the shot, gets it to fall. There's the pick. He launches the bomb. He drains it. He keeps the dribble as they reset inside. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Arte just doesn't beat him to the basket. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. And the ball goes out of bounds. High post flashes for the opportunity. He may be in trouble here, Brad. Cross court. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. And a momentary look from three-point land. Goes up with a shot. Scorches the net with a J. Let's see if it looks as good on the replay. Fed the low block. Goes up for two. Doesn't go. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. For the bucket. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. With the fake. Takes the shot. Off the rim and no good. He'll regroup the offense. Looking for a good shot. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. Illinois are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. The ball goes out of play. And Dick, look at this sellout crowd, and they are loving it. Oh, they're ecstatic, baby. They're ecstatic. Great team play. The post flashes up high if he wants it. The center gets the ball. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. Shows patience waiting for the reset. The power forward gets the pass. Tries for two. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. Now they work it around the perimeter. For two, there was no doubt about that one. Gave it up. Trying to pack it inside. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> <laughs> and as you would say right here, Mr. Vitale, flop city. I tell you one thing, <laughs> absolutely a flop. No doubt, Mr. Nestler.
That's just great hustle and great defense with a steal. I tell you what, they telegraphed that pass, and he read it perfectly defensively as a post player. The small forward with the ball. They work the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. On the outside, gave it up. Finney is eager and excited to compete. Hey, can you blame him, Red? He's getting it done. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. The shooting guard takes the feed. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. we got a good one going. Gets it back out. The point guard takes the pass. Tries one from three-point land. He hits it. Hey, he should know by now you don't leave your guy open. Not a very smart move. executed both teams looking to get things going here didn't give it to him down low going the other way isolated on the outside they work it around the arc looking for the open jumper where draws the personal Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. This is the team's first trip to the free throw line. He hits his first. Both free throws go. Him in the low block, but opted against it. Nice move with the face up. I tell you one thing, Brad. I like guys. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. The ball goes out of bounds. High post flashes for the ball handler. On the dribble, gives it up. Great anticipation defensively. The student body appears to be pumped up, and they are ready to explode. The student section looks like they're having a great time. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Here's a flash from the high post. Where? It's receiving a lot of support from the fans. The people here really appreciate what he brings to the table. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented blocks up there. Yeah, that helps. Look at that spacing. Problem with that when you front if you don't get some backside help you're in trouble. Well you got to get help because you got to see ball man. That's essential when you play on there and you front it. Nice pass to the low block. There they come with a double team to stop it. Shot clock violation Dick. They really put the clamps on him there. Clamps is right Brad. They ran but they couldn't hide. Strip red. Oh, 
Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Drains it. Two. Great play to take that to the basket. On the outside, Dickey's doing a nice job defensively fronting it. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, guys, in this David versus Goliath matchup, the stronger team is capitalizing on the turnovers and lack of defense. Thanks, Aaron. First one, good. Sinks it. Makes the third. The frustration right there. And the ball goes out of play. You talk about a packed house. Look at this crowd. I tell you, coach's dream, baby. This gives you that edge. perimeter here's a double team gave it up there's a double team waiting there stolen you really need to protect the ball around these guys can't get the shot to drop I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. On the dribble, gives it up. The pressure that basketball, help one another, communicate. Illinois have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. Didn't like what he saw in the post and reverses the ball. Assembly Hall is about to explode. It is mayhem in here. The student body is rocking tonight. They want to win just as bad. He blocks the shot. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. Here's the offensive drop step in the low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Steals a pass. Number 55 with the fake. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up. You get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. That is a dagger in the heart, that shot, Dick. Hey, they lost focus here. They need a timeout to regroup, Brad. Both teams are looking to get something going here. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Great effort defensively. He says, thou shalt not enter thy lane, baby. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Gave it up. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I'll tell you, three-quarter position trying to deny, but then he does a great job of post position and spreading his body and getting the ball.
There's the pick. There's the roll. That's good. Reverses the ball after having a guy in the post. For three, way off target. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebounding ability. Dickey's going to kick it back up there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Got to make that baby at that wide open angle. Have a chance to lay it on a glass for an easy deuce. Turns it over. The kick out. That spin move's not going to work against the defense I like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. it up takes away the pass and now in transition going the other way they'd like to get it inside to the low block unable to so far nice job of packing it in defensively yeah really doing a great job packing it in then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. They get it out into transition. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Too much. That's a foul. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. He steps up to the line. Cashed it in. Illinois have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. And he doesn't miss that opportunity either. Working it around the perimeter. Gave it up. Takes the pass in the paint. He goes to the line. He misses his first shot. He makes it. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. From the baseline. Nice shot. On the top of the key. Great execution. That's offensive efficiency at its best. To get that ball movement, get that good spacing. They work the perimeter. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. Now the high screen. He shoots from right in the circle. Dick, he's in a serious rhythm. Hey, that's because he's getting the ball in rhythm, Brad. Very important. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first, initially, he wants a three-quarter. 
Then he plays him where he gets a good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebounding position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of the post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. Well, let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Well, Brad and Dick, the coaching staff knew this would be a key heading into tonight's matchup. This is something they stress during pregame, and it's something they're talking about on the benches right now. The message, get the ball inside. Guys, they're doing that. All right, Aaron, we're going to watch that the rest of the game. I'll tell you one thing, you better be able to establish post play because that gives you inside, outside action. They'll work it around the arc. Jumped in front to take it away. Goes up for two. The lay -in. On the dribble, gives it up. And he'll kick it back outside. Nice high post screen. Kicks it out. Turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. Tries for two, and off the mark. Picked off. With a rejection. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. The shot from the baseline. Off the rim and no good. Look at that spacing. Had him in the post and didn't pass it in. Reverses it. He throws it up from downtown. Trying to draw the foul. He gets that one to fall. In the paint. That's a foul. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. And look at the facial expression. Dumping inside. Goes for the deep one. It looks as though the students are all wound up and ready to agitate the opposition. Isn't it great, Brad? Gave it up. And the ball goes out of bounds. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I'll tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. On the dribble, gives it up. Double team now, bad angle. Here's the three ball. Buried it. There's the trap. I tell you, nothing like having those legs, man, where you bounce right off the floor. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position, has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45-degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. Another turnover. And we're not talking apple turnovers either. Jumps into the defender. He nails the shot. With plays like that, you need instant replay. to pick up the defense here now. 
What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Gave it up. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. He buries the shot. Show the replay on that. They move it into the front court. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. He shoots from outside. They're nailing three balls at will right now. They're really hurting them with the three-point shooting. At halftime, the Knights trail by nine. Illinois really did a great job of collecting the boards in the first half, Dick. Hey, collecting the boards, canceling out second chance opportunities. You win ball game, baby. Well, Dick, we kind of expected that battle between David and Goliath, and that's what we saw in the first half. What do you expect in the second half? You're simply saying, warm up the bus, baby. Let's get ready for the next game. Now, I really got to try to get the kids to understand possession. What I would do, Brad, is play the game in segments, four-minute segments. Let's try to win each four minutes. Looking for a good shot for the bucket. Great play. Take that to the basket. Let's take a look at the last two. They work it around the perimeter. Takes the pass in the paint. Puts it up, looking for contact. On the dribble, gives it up. Working it around the perimeter. Unloads a three. Tickles a twine. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good space. Tries for two. Basket falls despite the contact. Intercepted. Now they work it around the perimeter. Unloads. Goes. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job at a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. This is home court advantage at its best. The crowd, the students, everyone is feeling good. Gave it up. He fakes the shot. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. And there's a look at the backcourt comparison, Dick. I think you always want to know how the primary ball handlers are doing. Are they getting their team's quality shots, good opportunities? The team which takes care of these things usually is in a better position to win a game. We'll take the shot. The shot won't fall. That one there should have been a foul call, I think. Well, you take a look right there. I thought there was contact right on the defensive player. He's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, to play defensively. Look at the facial expression. A couple of free ones. First. No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. And he got them both. They're nailing the 
three ones tonight, Mr. Vital. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. Some game plan changes, Dick. You never know what's coming, Brad. Picks off the pass. The pass is stolen. Hey, he got a clean break on it. Oh, he's got hops like you, man. He got hops <laughs> like you. Yeah, it is pretty similar. Wow. I didn't realize my partner was a high riser. Stolen away. Defense got it after knocking it loose. Perfectly executed. They scored 15 in a row. They work the perimeter. He looks at the hoop. The ball goes out of play. Talk about a hack house. I'll tell you, coach's dream, baby. This gives you that edge. Fakes it. Jump hook from the low block. That's a great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's one you take for the team, Brad. the free throw line opportunity he gets it to go great defensive play anticipated well when you're an anticipator you got a chance to do well a lot of guys they're reactors if you're a reactor you're one step behind the action goes out of bounds everybody into the act right now and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going damn what makes college so special the enthusiasm of the cheerleader as the mascot everybody involved way out on top controlling the ball Kick it back outside. The students are all up and ready to do whatever's necessary to help their team win. You can't forget about them. The winning rumor and dedication to their teams. You can't find this in any other team sport. Fake. He was looking for the call and he got it on himself. Offensive foul. Definitely a little foul. No doubt about it. He beats him to the spot. He wants a three. Off the rim and no good. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Great play to take that to the basket. What a reaction, Brad. The fans are loving it. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. What well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Moving it around the perimeter. The fighting Illini have a mismatch in the post. Can they get him the ball, though? Jacobs commits his last personal. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. 
They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. From the baseline. Perfectly designed, perfectly executed, easy basket. They work it around the perimeter. That spin move's not going to work against the defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. That was a great, great effort right there, trying to play that passing lane, anticipating really well. Defender's doing a great job of applying ball pressure. Long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside though was so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. On the dribble, gives it up. And he'll kick it back outside. Gave it up. Ten on the shot clock. For two. I love this guy, huh? You cannot block that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brown, why don't more guys use it? The fighting Illini have a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. There they come with a double team to stop it. Picks off the lazy pass. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Picked out of the air. He pulls the trigger. He's money with the shot. The Knights are trailing by 18. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. On the dribble, gives it up. He bombs from outside. Great shot. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Takes the pass in the paint. Sinks another basket. What are they going to do with this guy, Dick? I don't know, Brad, but they better do it quickly. Foul charge. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that ball. What well, a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. for two up and in we need to see that again Brad gave it up and now they'll bring it up Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. And the ball goes out of play. Well, they just manhandled him, Dick, throughout this ballgame, and it's never really changed from the first half. 
Hey, somebody call the bus driver and get the engine going, baby. This baby is history. It is absolutely over. For two, there was no doubt about that one. The Fighting Illini lead by 17. He intercepts it. The center gets the ball. He looks for the bomb. He makes the shot. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. And the fans here are loving the action. Well, listen to those fans. The crowd is thunderous. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Artez just doesn't beat him to the basket, not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. They go inside and now back outside. Hey, inside outside action always works. He's definitely hogging the ball like you hog the microphone. Hey, sure he is. I can hear snorting from here. <laughs> Not there. And he'll kick it back outside. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Steals a pass. Gets the ball and faces man down on the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. The fake. There he is, strips the ball loose. Good fake. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. And the ball goes out of bounds. Those are the types of plays you want a lot of. These kids are on a roll. Look at them celebrating with one another. I'd celebrate too, partner. They are playing some great basketball at the moment. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. A oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Can you not love this game and the hoopla and fanfare that goes along with it? They just have to focus, Brad. That's most important, mental toughness. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. He takes a three, it sticks. He attempts the three, he gets it to fall. The Knights are down by 24. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help some. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. 
to go up high with a shot. Excellent jump shot right there. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Perfectly executed. You don't see plays like this every day. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. Nothing but joy and delight in the stands right now. These fans realize that this game is terrific block shot, though. He's a dominator blocking shots on the interior. Playing for the steal in the post, and he didn't get it. I tell you, tried to make the spectacular play, but now he's embarrassed. <laughs> nice fake. Here's a double team. From beyond the arc, he gets the bucket. Let's get another look, Brad. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. I tell you, does a great job getting post position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. Takes away the pass. Ware receives the pass. How's the front court productivity tonight, Dick? You know, Brad, basketball is a big man's game. If you have a few in your team and are active and energetic, it makes your team that much better. Ultimately, you want all of your players to be productive, but an inside presence will separate your team from others. Tries for two, makes the shot. Side. I don't even know if you and I can find a seat in this place, Dick. I'll tell you one thing, you get the home court advantage when you got a crowd like this. By the way, you and I have the best seat in the house. He'll let two shots. Concentration, got to concentrate. Way Brick short. City. Second one is no good. Up and inside. They work the perimeter. Jumped in front to take it away. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. A great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Top, controlling the ball, in and out. Borders handles the feed from three-point land. Gets it to fall. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. On the outside, looks at a three. Three balls paying dividends tonight, Dick. That's right, Brad. All their bills are getting paid from New York, baby. Dick, he's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making the throw to lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Adam 
Momentary look from three point land. Job of running the defender into the screen for the nice J. Pressure that basketball. For two. That's good. Run him right at the screen again. What did I say? Working it around the perimeter. Turn around jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice smooth turn around jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound to build. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. That deserves an encore. Let's watch it here. Shot clock is dead. Turnaround jumper. Rims out. down low there's a drop step and oh good defense I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot very poor job with the drop step very slow attempts the Hail Mary he can't get the hoop to fall they just keep rolling along Dick we kind of expected it would go this way and they came out on top in the ball game I'll tell you one thing they're so well coached they're really prepared and they understand each other they know who their strong players are should be shooting the ball and those that are liability Wow, Dick, let's check out that State Farm drive of the game. Hey, what a great move, Brad. He was able to find an opening and finish at the basket. That's a great finish. Highlight material, baby. Illinois completely outclasses their opposition. With the difference in these two teams' rankings, the win was pretty much a foregone conclusion. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thank